you will probably want to use your 2D character sprite sheet in a 3D world. Maybe make it work for 8 directional movements. Perhaps you want some camera rotation. Maybe even zooming in and out. How about making it toggle between first person and third person view? I'll show you how to do all this in Godot 4.0. Add a character body 3D node. Attach a character script. Use the default script for a quick start. Add a 3D sprite node. Add your sprite sheet. Set the H frames and V frames based on your sprite sheet. Mine is 8x12. Set Y billboard so the character will always face the camera on Y axis. This is what happens if you simply enable billboard. Set shaded and alpha cut to opaque prepass if you want your character to have shadows. Use nearest texture filter for the crisp pixel art look. Add a 3D collision shape. This will allow your character to interact with the 3D world. Add a 3D camera so you can see the character. Create a quick prototype level using CSG boxes. Remember to enable collision. Add the character into the map. And you have the basic prototype ready. It's ugly now, so let's add a world environment. Set mode to sky. Set sky to panorama. Add a sky texture. Add a directional light. Change the angle for different shadows. And things are looking way better. If you are not seeing the shadow, remember to enable it in directional light node. Time for the animation. Add animation player. Create a movement animation. My sprite sheet has three frames per cycle, so I'll create three keyframes. Go into the player code. Create a variable. We will use this variable in the three keyframes. I'm setting the frames 0.2 seconds apart and looping them at 0.6 seconds. Create a variable. Let's call it facing. Map the input to the facing. These are the coordinates for up, down, left, right. For the diagonal directions, we need to map them by range. My sprite sheet organizes the character frames by columns. This is what my code will look like. If your sprite sheet organizes the frames by rows, your code should look like this. This is what you should have so far. Next, let's add some polish with the camera controls. Add a spring arm. Move the camera into the spring arm. Add a script to the spring arm. Zooming in and out is controlled by the spring arm length. Add a zoom in and zoom out button. Add a rotate left and right button. Each press will rotate by 30 degrees. To make it more interesting, let's add a snap left and snap right button for the sharp turns. Add a tween function for a more interesting camera movement. Finally, create a variable to store the camera position for the first person and third person. Add a toggle button. When clicked, we will switch between the first person and the third person. When the player is in first person view, hide the mouse cursor and rotate the camera based on the mouse position. And that is all there is. If you want the code, you can download it on coffee for free, though I would appreciate a cup of coffee or two. A subscription would be fine too. Maybe a like and a comment. After all, I've only made this video thanks to these wholesome comments.